name performante says a lot. So it's uh, to prove uh, the performance of our cars, so the top end uh, of uh, one lineup, and it's uh, the agility, the driver orientation, the easiness to drive the cars, and for sure it's also to, to showcase the last time before we go hybrid, what we are able to do with uh, combustion engines. Uh, we decided to present the Urus Performante here in uh, at the Monterey Car Week because the Quay Lodge is the place to be. It's getting more and more important, not only uh, for the press uh, uh, US-wide, but globally. And uh, we have uh, a lot of customers which, which are coming all over, from all over the place and also a lot of fans. So it's really uh, the best place to show a car if you have a world premiere. Yeah, the, the brand has grown in every detail, but the base is for sure the development of the brand. And, and the all has to go together with the, the product. So you have to have a brand which has a promise and you have to keep the, the products as close as you can to what uh, the brand is promising. And I think we are very consistent in what we do. Uh, we are unique, our design is loved by everybody, it's very noticeable and the performance is outstanding and this is what makes our company different and we are very cautious in our strategy, we are never doing things we cannot afford. So the first six months of the year 2022 were the best ever in the history of Lamborghini in terms of uh, uh, cars delivered to customers in terms of turnover and also in terms of uh, operating profit. The operating profit of the first six months was better than the result of the entire year 2021, which at that time was a record year. So we are very proud of the achievement and I'm very proud about what the team has done to this company. I mean, we wanted to de uh, design uh, the Uros Performante, uh, really showing the Uros going to the gym and coming back, uh, you know, in a better shape. So you see all the all the muscles in the right place. So we wanted to create the driver SUV. You see the fun to drive already with the design. We wanted to work also on the aerodynamics, and of course, we want to uh, make the car more lightweight. So we were using. Uh, the carbon fiber as the main element so the design you can see the front bonnet uh, that is uh, visually extending the front window lowering uh, the front we have um, a front shape that is more the shape of a shark and then in the lower part we are implementing uh, air curtains to improve the aerodynamical flow around the car and i really like as a detail those wings that take inspiration from the huracan technica and give this significant look of the urus performante in Lamborghini, every design that we do is using high-performance surfacing because aerodynamic performance and design is going together. So it is my fun, you know, creating those cars uh, using uh, really the requirements and the, the, the necessities, you know, to increase the downforce with wings or with the, you know, elements, design elements that are enhancing the performance. This is for me the beauty of the design because we are not just uh, styling the cars, I'm designing the cars and this is always you know a, a functionality that is you know where the design is improving um, the speed the, the, you know and the performance of the car in Lamborghini the beauty is that we want to be the most innovative super sports car brand so we want to inspire so of course you can inspire with the design of our car so I see always a spaceship in the future I see always a Lamborghini that is sticking out really a lot with the typical design elements the silhouette and the general physics of our car so stay tuned with Lamborghini we are the future thank you so the Urus was defining a complete new segment, the one of the super SUV. And uh, the main uh, point of strength of the Urus were for sure the design, were the uh, performance, but especially was the driving emotion and the driving engagement that uh, can deserve to our customer. And I have to tell that also commercial wise, uh, it was a very, very good uh, what has been done in this year by the Urus in terms of volume, because we are almost at 21,000 units sold uh, from 2018 until today. So let's say that overall, uh, globally, we are today at a split of 60% uh, Urus and 40% uh, Supersport car. 
we will run uh, about uh, this uh, percentage, maybe 50-50 when we will add the new Aventador. And this is a little bit uh, the same in uh, the main market. So the main market of the Urus are for sure US, after it's coming China, Germany, Korea and UK. And in general, these are also the main market uh, also for the super sport car, except for Korea, that is uh, uh, having a ratio that is more oriented on the SSUV compared to the super sport car. With the Performante, we were able to introduce uh, uh, different items in terms of personalization, especially linked to the carbon fiber, so we can have the roof in carbon fiber, the bonnet in carbon fiber in the library that uh, we have here behind me, but we can also have uh, interior handle in red, we can have uh, different kind of trim, and I think that in addition we are going to have new color and also new matte color that are uh, more uh, in uh, line with the matte color that we have today on the Super Sport car. So I think that our customer will find additional opportunity to personalize their car and to get uh, out of this car their desirable object. I mean, driving performance for sure are pure numbers on the, on the first glance. I mean, we have improved the acceleration, we have improved the lateral um, dynamics of the car, we have beat the record, you know, the Pikes Peak record. But this is only one thing. The performance is for our interpretation also about the driving fun. And on this we have really done a big step forward. So the, the pleasure and the fun of the driver is amazing. I mean, the Urus itself was already, let me say, considered as it was a generator of a new segment. I mean, there were SUVs, there were super sports cars, and we as Lamborghini, we defined the new segment of the super sport SUV. But the Performante is still much, much sharper. It's really a driver SUV, and in this sense, also it fits perfectly in the super sports car world. I mean, first of all, in the road to electrification, it's, we, clearly, we are clearly committed based on our company strategy on the core Tauri to go step by step in the electrification direction. But our intention is to preserve and even improve the Lamborghini DNA. So we can be sure that even in the partially electrified and later on also in the fully electric world, a typical Lamborghini will remain a typical Lamborghini generating this incredible level of emotions.